What's up guys, this is Dia Boy and Ascension. I'm going to show you guys how to play an aircraft carrier. I'm going to use the Shikaku as my teaching tool. This is one of my most played ships. This is the equipment that I'm using. Then let's go and look at my commander skills. Tier 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then I'm going to go over to my stats real quick and then we'll hop into battle. I have 516 battles in this ship. I've sunk 1,199 enemy. I've averaged 87,800 damage in those 516 battles with a 91.5% win rate. So now let's hop into battle. The first and most important thing I can teach you as an aircraft carrier is to be close to the battle. You do not want to be in the corner of the map. You want to be close to the battle but also protected. So I'm going to sail straight ahead to get behind that island in front of me. That allows me to be close to the battle but also protected from the enemy. Now you don't always have to go there, that's just where I chose to go there in this particular circumstance. You can go around the, the edges of the map, but I'm just choosing to go there in this match. So I'm going to send my fighters out first, my dive bombers second, and my torpedo bombers third. The goal is to take out all of the enemy ships as quickly as possible. I do not want to try and scout the whole enemy team before I decide what to do, instead I want to take out the first vulnerable enemy that I see, which is generally a cruiser or a destroyer that's all by themselves. Now this destroyer actually does a really good job of avoiding my torpedoes. First he turns and then he slows down, that's two things. If he had not slowed down right here then these torpedoes would have sunk him, but he did dodge five of them which is what kept him alive, he did a really good job right there. So yeah, you generally always want to target the first enemy you see that is alone, which is always going to be a destroyer or a cruiser. Generally always going to be a destroyer or a cruiser. Destroyers have the least amount of anti-aircraft damage, so they are the vul most vulnerable but also the hardest to hit. Now your team in general, if y'all work together, you can always take out destroyers very quickly and then cruisers second and then battleships third. That's the quickest way to take out the enemy by targeting them in that order. Destroyers, cruisers, and battleships, and that's based off of the amount of armor and hit points that those ships have. So if you can help your team take out a destroyer at the beginning of a match, you're giving your team a major edge very, very quickly, especially if it's on your first torpedo run. Now one strategy that I want to talk about coming up is that this destroyer is about to get sunk, and I'm thinking about getting the last hit on him, but then I see another set from Captain Rugger, uh, another set of torpedoes, so I know that destroyer sunk. And I'm going to target a new enemy, I'm going to target this North Carolina. So what I'm going to do is send my, send my planes to the edge of the map, the opposite end of the map, and then come from behind the North Carolina. That way my planes only fly over him one time rather than two. Now look at my dive bombers coming up. They fly over, land their bombs then they have to fly back a second time. My torpedo bombers only flew over once, and my torpedo bombers are the most important planes that I have as a Japanese carrier. They do the most damage. So having them fly over only once is a really good strategy to keep the most planes from being shot down. Now notice here the enemy aircraft carrier is sending their torpedo bombers to me. They're targeting me, and that's not a good move. Also look at how many planes I've shot down. I've kept my fighters in a position that protects me and my teammates. And I'm not having to pay very much attention to my fighters because they're in such a good position. And the, and the enemy carrier targeting me at the beginning of a battle is not very smart. Uh, if you want to rewind a little bit, I had a whole bunch of teammates around me when he started targeting me. So his planes are getting shot down like a like by not only me and my fighters but also my team me and my teammates mates uh, anti-aircraft damage so now the best ship to target right now is going to be this Colorado because he's the closest and he's next to all my teammates so the quicker that we can take him out the better you don't just because he's low health doesn't mean give up on him and target someone else you want him taken out as quickly as possible because just one salvo from him could take out half of one of my cruiser's uh, hit points. So don't worry about kill stealing, don't worry about making people mad by taking their kills. Get them sunk as quickly as possible if you want to win. 
because there's been way too many battle battles where where the enemy team has a comeback that was unexpected because everyone's targeting their own ship to make sure that no one does any kill stealing. Everyone gets their own ship and no one no one teams up to take out the enemy and then they end up losing the battle. So notice this destroyer was about to cap, but now he's coming after me. That's not a smart move. But here in a second, he's going to fire some torpedoes, and I'm going to have to dodge them. One thing you want to do that I've taught in some of my other videos is you want to make your ship parallel with where you believe the torpedoes are coming from. So I go, I've go. i landed all my planes, and I'm going to go back into um, first-person mode, or third-person mode, or whatever you call it. I guess the aircraft carriers have two different third-person modes, but I'm going to try and make my... I ship parallel with these torpedoes. I actually do a, I, I didn't do it correctly and I get hit by these two. But you can see what I was trying to do and if I had done it correctly I wouldn't have got hit by any of those torpedoes. So that's the way you defend yourself against an enemy destroyer. Now look there's only one ship left that's the enemy carrier and the match is almost over. Guys I hope that I taught you something. There is there is a there's, there, let me just sum it up real quick. There's three main things you need to be juggling as a carrier. You need to, number one, protect your teammates from the enemy planes with your fighters. Number two, you need to coordinate strikes with your planes. And number three, you need to protect yourself from the enemy. And I should have been able to show you a good example of that, all three of those things in this battle. I hope y'all learned something. Give me a thumbs up and comment if you liked the video. I appreciate it, and I'll catch y'all later.